This is Elise and I'm here to share with you um, one of the swaps that I've um, joined over at Your Paper Pantry. It's the October or September actually um, um, artsy ticket swap um, hosted by Linda and Linda is Linda Lapp here on YouTube and I'll put the link to her channel down below. And what we had to do was create five strips of tickets and the tickets had to be, um, the strip had to be the same but the each of the strips had to be different so uh, let me show you what I made I think they turned out really cute so the first one is this one and uh, first I embossed and well first of all I didn't have the Tim Holtz uh, ticket um, die so I just cut my strip um, 10 inches by uh, one and a quarter and scored it every two inches and used my hand um, held paper punch to a hole punch to just punch the little ticket part right there and I think there are tut tutorials out there on how to do that and so uh, what I did first on this one I had a little dollar stamp from Michaels and I embossed a spider web on the back right here in the background on the on this ticket and then I had these little uh, Michaels recollections um, spider embellishments and I just put one on each one and I think they turned out really cute so there's that and I think you can see see the embossing um, it may be in the background and I edged the the whole strip with a uh, black soot and then on the back I had these little um, these little stickers that say um, trick-or-treat so I put one on the back of each one so there's the first one the second one um, I used another dollar stamp from Michaels and it's this little witch here and then I added this little recollections bat that has like a little glossy finish to it and I used some um, of the Studio G little um, ink pads that I got at Michael's. I used the green and I used the yellow. And I um, just kind of used my finger to, to color those in. And then this twill ribbon is some ribbon that I got um, last year on the clearance at my local scrapbook store. And I just cut the Happy Halloween for each of the tickets. And I again distressed it with some black soot. And I think that turned out really cute. And then on the back, I used another uh, dollar stamp from Michael's and stamped some candy corn on the back. So there's that. That's the second one. The third one, I used another dollar stamp from Michael's. And it's this little vampire here. And I went around the edges with some black soot. And then I used some of the Studio G um, yellow to, to kind of make a little glow in the background. And I used another one of the little um, bat embellishments. And I did this one vertically this way and then on the back I just left that one black blank but I think I'm gonna try to find a little I'm sure I have a little happy Halloween stamp around here somewhere so I'll probably stamp it on the back okay and then this one I also did this one vertically and I thought this one turned out really cute it's another little um, um, Michael's dollar stamp and it's a little mummy and I embossed it heat embossed it and then on the back I um, use the um, this huge um, gauze like stamp it's a big background stamp you see how big that is I got this at a garage sale it's a stamping up I got this at a garage sale for two bucks last year and then what I did was I stamped it on the back so it looks like gauze material on the back and then I stamped and embossed um, the mummy on the front and then I used some little um, some of this um, gross grain ribbon polka dot ribbon to make it like a little um, like a little tab handle so once you take these apart you'll have a ticket with a little ribbon on it so and I use my uh, Tim Holtz um, little stapler to uh, tiny attacher to put the ribbon on so and then the last one and that's this one this one I use some um, first I distressed it with some black soot and then add a little bit of yellow glow and then I um, took these little recollection um, glossy little pumpkins and put them here and then I use my Martha Stewart this Martha Stewart um, spooky gate punch this one I got this one last year too um, at um, I think I got it at TJ Maxx for like $3.99 or something like that and I used that one and I cut a piece and put it in front so it's like a little pumpkin patch behind the fence so I did that and then um, on the back I used some washi tape on the back and um, and then I stamped on top of it, I stamped over it with this Happy Halloween. So when you, when they cut this apart, you won't get the whole Happy Halloween, you'll get a piece of it. So um, I thought that was really cute. 
So there's the fifth one that I made. So those are my tickets. And then for sweet Linda, what I did for Linda is I made her a strip with all of the different tickets on it. So those are all of the five tickets. And so now she has like a little sampler of the tickets that I made. And so there's the front of those. And then on the back, I did the exact same thing on the back as I did on the other tickets. So these are for Linda. And then I have these little cute little, um, these little paper bags, these little paper treat bags that I had in my stash from last year. And they say spooky. And I'm going to pack each one up with a couple little extra goodies. And, and I'll be mailing these out soon. And then the other thing I want to show you guys was um, I made a card for Linda. And here is my mummy card. And I again, I used, um, I cut some strips at uh, one and a quarter strips. And then I um, just kind of, the first, what I first did is I embossed the entire um, paper with, with again, with this stamp and my um, Versamark ink. And then I, um, like heat embossed it and I cut it. And then after that, after it dried, then I cut it. So, um, and then I just cut some circles, made some eyes. And I like the way that turned out because it looks like it's real gauze uh, material. And then I made this little flower with some material that I had with the tattered, um, Tim Holtz tattered um, flower dye. And I just used the um, the little skinny pieces because I wanted it to look kind of raggedy. So I used the little skinny pieces. And then this is a Recollections brad. And I just cut the back off of the brad and, and, and put it there. So there's my card. And I haven't put anything in the inside. I'll probably just put like a white piece here and and write her a note so there's my card and um my little bags and here are my tickets all of the let's like a little sampling of all the tickets that i made and um i hope the ladies like them and thank you guys for watching and thank you so much linda for hosting this spot bye